So I'm going to ask you some questions about yourself, the depression you've had, what treatments you've tried, and then what results have you had with the most recent treatment we use, which is DMS. So tell us a little bit about yourself and your depression. How long has that been an issue? Well, I'm 63 years old, and as far as I know, I've suffered depression all my life. I call it moodiness, moodiness uh -huh. uh, and other things, and at that time you were told that you just, you know, it's all in your head. Snap out of it, right? Snap out of it, pull yourself up by your bootstraps and all that uh, stuff. It wasn't until I was in, I believe, my 30s when uh, a family doctor initially started treating me for depression. My um, evaluation would be that the SRIs seem to work better, uh, seem to have less side effects, although the side effects still were significant. And there was With time you know, got a trial of getting the right medications. Yeah, because I've seen you over, uh, you've made a lot of progress over the years with different things we've done. Yes. That was one of the first victories we had together, Yeah. is that yeah. combination. And I think you were well for a period of time. Yeah, it was, it was a fair amount of time, and then again, the medications seemed to tend to wear off. Uh, wear off. I'd say harder. the time I've known you, there have been several times where you've ended up on a semi-emergency visit because whatever you would be stable on did not hold. Yeah. Uh, through most of the, of the time in there, if you said that a, you know, a, a was... I think I probably was maybe in a B plus. I don't think I ever really got to a level where I could say, geez, I really, I really feel yeah. well. There's and I, I have to agree with you because I think we learned to accept that B plus is much better than an F or a D and oh, certainly yes. a C. Yes. But there was a residual. That's that's a good reason. Level of was, depression. And if you and there's always a residual of the depression. There was uh, there wasn't. Uh, real spontaneous uh, enjoyment of life. And so you started it about, what, five weeks ago? Sort of five weeks ago. With the uh, TMS. Yeah, and I've gone through, I think, it, I've had uh, like 33 sessions of it. And, and you're winding down now. I'm so going to wind down. We're going to be uh, stopping very soon, but tell me what your experience has been. Uh, incredible. It's almost beyond belief. It's the, uh, I didn't get to be got the A. How quickly did that A come? The amazing part of it was the, you know, it was that first day in the chair, you know, you sat down and went through the, the, the first session and then got up from, from the session of, wow. But the, the, the way to explain it best is that when I came in that morning, I was down to where I was moving slow. I was driving the fastest I could drive, which was about 25 miles an hour. So, wow. So I came down through the traffic at 25 miles an hour. Everybody's passing. You, you know, you're like, but, you know, what's that idiot doing? But it's the best I could do. I came in. I had the session. And I felt pretty good. And I went home. And I got home. And as I walked through the door, it was almost like a shock. I realized I had driven home with the traffic. 25 miles an hour, but up the expressway at 45 miles an hour. And that was a surprise to you? I didn't even think about it. Just, you know, this is after one treatment. One treatment. At my stage in my career, I didn't want to make anything major unless I was convinced that it could be exactly what it turns out to be. I am delighted. It's exciting. We see a lot of utility for so many more patients out there. You know, just the thinking we have now. Like, in other words, I've had patients for years. I had the other day, I saw a guy who was one of my patients for several years, and he's been happy with his medications. I said, well, let's do the rating scale on you. Yeah. And he comes up with moderate depression. Yeah. But I said, so why are you living with this level? He says, well, it's good enough. I said, maybe we can do better. Well, if you have a man that's starving, and you give him a peanut butter sandwich. Good choice, by the way. That's good he, protein. And he, <laughs> you know, he gets his nourishment not hungry anymore. He feels that, you know, everything is great. You know, he's he's forgotten what a steak tastes like. There you go. You know. So I'm delighted that you can enjoy any taste in life you choose to at this I point. I do. I, I believe that now I, I... 
And you know what? I also oh, set right. my standard differently for you as my patient. So I will not accept anything but an A if you oh, slip. Boy. So you better watch it. <laughs> boy, the bar has really went up there high now. But let's on a more serious yeah. note say, I mean, here's my plan with you. My plan is to keep you doing well, to start tapering off the meds, mostly to eliminate whatever side effects we can, yes. and to keep you doing well. If we feel that you're slipping, we'll jump at it and give you booster treatment if necessary. But that's what I'm talking about. It's yes. The standard is we know what we want to aim at with the least, if, if any, probably no side effects. So far, no side effects. Oh, yeah, that would be incredible. To, I was, I would have been very willing or very glad if, if I had been able to reach the level where I was back to like the B plus and was able to back off some of the medications to get rid of some of the side effects. Yeah, but I think if I, I can say that I, as your doctor over the last years, is even when I loaded you up on multiple combinations, I was still wondering what the quality of life is when you're having all these side effects yeah. for the diminishing returns you are getting. So now I can be comfortable and say, thank God we don't have to go there uh, with yeah. what we know works. So thank you so much, yeah. and a pleasure, and have a wonderful time. Okay, well, thank Thanks you so much. much. Thank you. Okay.